back out and just start shooting down the block with the kids, with the um, mothers and everybody just trick or treating. So of course, you could imagine everybody's bugging out. So my man ran upstairs, he went to go get his joint. My man had a Mac. This went down, this was like 96, I think 96, I was like 16. So I'm on my block, I'm on Pear Street, like right in front of 27 Pear Street, in front of the store. And I'm I'm dolo at this at this at this um this particular time and I'm selling bud. So four dudes from up the block come down to um where they acting like they gonna buy some bud. So I know these dudes. I went to school with these dudes and all that, you know what I'm saying? So Niggas, they dap me up. They like, yo, DJ, what up? So I'm like, yo, son, what up, what up? So we just chopping it up for a few minutes. And one of them is like, yo, you got bud, right? So I'm like, yeah. He like, yo, let me see what you got. So I pull out like four or five bags and I just hand it to him. Cause like I said, he, he was, we was cool. You know what I'm saying? So he looking at the shit and then he passed it off to his man. So now his man looking at it, you know how niggas want to open this, smell this shit, do all that dumb shit. So they passing it around. So eventually, the bud is gone. Like, I'm like, yo, where the bud at? And, and they all like, what bud? Like, what bud you talking about? So I'm like, yo, y'all serious? He like, and they was a little older than me too. So of course, I'm a little intimidated at the moment. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, you got it, bro. Y'all niggas got it. So they just walked off. They like, yeah, whatever. And they just walked off. So I went to my man crib. Cause I know my man, his father had a, 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 a 22 rifle, like long shit. So I went and got that joint. I told him what happened. He was like, yeah, man, take it. So I took the joint. I tucked it as, as best as I could cause the shit was so long. And I'm walking up the block to go look for these dudes. So I see one of my mans coming down the block. I tell him what happened. He like, come on, I'll go with you. So we look in, we circle the block like two or three times and Eventually, I seen one of them. He walk in the door, he walk in his door, and he got this this long ass, like, two by four stick, you know what I mean? He, he's, he's letting the dog, like, chew on the shit, you know what I'm saying? So I run up on him. I don't I don't pull the shit out yet. I just run up on him. I'm like, yo, son, where, where my butt at? So he act like he like he annoyed that I'm asking him where my butt at, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he like, yo, he, word, he like, bro, you still, you still talking about this butt shit? I'm like, yo, this dude got some fucking nerves, bro. So I look at my man and he give me like, he basically gave me a signal like, you know what I mean? Like fucking hit the nigga then. Cause he he was nowhere near trying to respect my, my gangster at all. You know what I'm saying? So I backed this long shit out. And um, of course his, his face, his face completely changed. So now he know I'm not playing. And he start asking me like, um, he said like, oh, like yo, that, yo, are you serious, bro? That's how it's going down. So I'm like, hell yeah, that's how it's going down. Like, how else you think it's about to go down? So, as while we arguing, my man, that's when my man gave me that signal, like hit him. So he peeped it and he just took off. So as soon as he took off, I just started hitting. So I hit like four shots. I did end up hitting the dude. So um, as soon as I see it, as soon as I see he got hit, I. I pass the joint to my man, my man go down the block, and I run off to Mom Duke's house. So, I'm, I'm fucking out of breath, I'm fucking throwing up and shit all scared, cause I don't know what just happened, I don't even know if I just killed somebody, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I tell her what happened, she bugging out, she going crazy, so she drives me to my uncle's joint in the Bronx, cause my family's from the Bronx. We was the only ones that moved to Yonkers, like before I was born, my mother moved to Yonkers. Cause she thought Yonkers was sweet too, like, you know what I mean? Like everybody else thought. So she moved to Yonkers to give her kids a better life, I guess. She ain't know what the fuck she was doing cause she, she brought me right to the fucking, right to the uh, 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 the violence anyway, you know what I'm saying? So, um, so I'm in the Bronx, I'm chilling, I'm chilling like a day or two. And I get a phone call, well I call, I call my man and he told me that one of my mans, these dudes had caught him caught them slipping the dudes I shot at mm. they caught my they was looking for me but I was in the Bronx so they caught my man slipping in the laundry mat from right right where I'm from and they did them dirty they just they just pounded them out did them real filthy they fucked his face all up it was it was ugly so I'm like damn son so 
I said, man, fuck the Bronx, man, I'm out. So I took the train, jumped on the train, came right back to Yonkers. Cause like you said, that shit is so close. You know what I'm saying? It's just a quick train ride. I remember you were saying when when you was in the Bronx, you was calling you was calling up to Yonkers and you was feeling a certain kind of way because everybody was out there except for you. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, every time I called, niggas was posted up and they telling niggas like, yo, these niggas is this, these niggas doing that. And I'm sitting in, in the Bronx like, I'm feeling crazy cause really I'm feeling like this is my beef. Like why these niggas gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like stand up for me, I, I should be there, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's why I said, that's when I said, man, fuck this shit, man. Whatever happens, happens, but I'm out, you know what I'm saying? So came back to Yonkers and um, by this time, Halloween is coming. That's why I call it the Halloween shootout. Cause by this time it's like a day before Halloween. So matter of fact, I'm lying. It's like two or three days before Halloween when I came back and we, we end up going up the block to look for these niggas and we catch one of them slipping. He by himself in front of the store. So we do him dirty. We put him in the hospital, knocked him out. My man hit him with a stick. Like it was crazy. The nigga from the store I had to drag him into the store. We, you know what I mean? He was knocked out sleeping, snoring. So the ambulance came and took him. So shit was getting ugly, you know what I'm saying? Um, so by Halloween, Halloween day, the atmosphere was so, it was thick. Like we knew something was going down, especially as Halloween. You know, niggas be acting up in Halloween, especially when you was young. So we knew something was gonna go down. Either we was gonna go up there or they was coming down to us. But we was waiting for the, um, for the sun to go down, you feel me? So we we outside, kids, we helping the kids, trick or treat and all this crazy shit. And two niggas is walking down the block. So, you know, they walking from the direction where them niggas, them niggas be at. So we know when most likely it's niggas from, from there, you know what I'm saying? So everybody like, yo, you see them niggas? And we like, yeah, we see them. But we never thinking that they gonna just start shooting, bro, cause it's broad daylight. It's like three in the afternoon, you know? So um, so they get like halfway down the block, it's a, it's a stop sign, like halfway down my block. So they stand halfway down the block, right by the stop sign. These niggas back out and just start shooting down the block with the kids, with the um, mothers and everybody just trick or treating and shit, the shit went crazy. So of course you could imagine niggas is, everybody's bugging out. So my man ran upstairs, he went to go get his joint. My man had a Mac, the old nigga named Gano, Spanish nigga. But by the time he got downstairs, them niggas was gone. But we knew exactly who did it, you know what I mean? So, so now the older niggas from the block start getting involved in this shit. Because my, my, my man's mom was out there when them niggas was shooting at his little brothers and shit. So now he getting involved. So um, him and that dude Gano I just told you about, these niggas grabbed the Mac, them niggas vest up and all that, and they start they go looking for these dudes. So eventually they catch two of them slipping on on the um it's a dead end called Purser Place, right up the block. They was in the park, I guess they were smoking or something. So they catch him. This nigga pistol whipped this nigga, put the Mac in his mouth, do him dirty. He don't shoot him, but he do him real dirty, you know what I mean? So um either that night or that or that next morning, one of the one of the um the bigger dudes from that block which he never got involved because he was real cool with us too. But he was from that block. He come down the block and he, he, he tell niggas that the niggas want to squash it. Like they don't, not that they want to be best friends, but they definitely want to squash it. They don't want no more drama. So so it basically ended that day. We 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 fought, we had like a couple of fair, fair ones and shit after that. But for the most part, all the gunplay and all that was, was done for the, for the time being. Cause it did get ugly again, like another year or two later. But for um, for the time being, the shit got squashed. You know what I mean, without nobody actually dying. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, we, shit was definitely wild. Are we talking about Valhalla? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, cause one thing um, Styles didn't really touch on was the minor block. I noticed, cause I don't think he went through the minor block. Oh, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I, know, I know when he got locked up, I think he was an adult already, you know? Yeah, yeah. So he ain't touch on the minor block because the minor blocks in the 90s was, was, was definitely wild. Yeah, I heard about the minor blocks from dudes I was up north with that was in the yeah. minor blocks in Valhalla. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You had like, you had two east, um, one east, and definitely one west. 
one west was the wildest block they call that shit the wild wild west so mm. you know niggas especially like i know niggas gonna be mad if, if you hear this and niggas hear what i'm about to say but yonkers was definitely running Far Hollow period especially the minor block though you know, it probably it was it was and it's cause it, it's really just cause of a, a population thing. You know what I'm saying? Out of like out of fifty dudes, it's probably thirty of them from Yonkers. You know what I mean? Mm. So really, what can you what, what can other dudes really do? You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm not saying nobody else was running it because you know it's tough niggas everywhere. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, yeah, Yonkers Yonkers definitely had it on smash. That's for sure. First time I went to Two East, which Two East was crazy, but for some reason that Wild Wild West joint, yeah, that atmosphere was crazy. Niggas was definitely getting up out of there. And the shit with that joint was cause the police really worked with the um with the inmates a lot, you know what I mean? So they kinda worked in in, in, in conjunction and shit. So they was getting niggas up out of there. Mm-hmm. Word. Word. Shit was definitely wild though. You said you were at the time you was in there. Styles P was up in there. I mean, he was in the building. Yeah, 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 definitely. Not the um, not the minor block days though. That yeah, was yeah. a whole different time. That was um, that was like like oh two, oh three, something like that. That was the adult adult blocks. See that? By the time I got to the adult blocks, that shit was it was way more calm. And like I guess because you know the the it's the minors that really be acting up. So by the time I got to the adult joints, everything had calmed down. Niggas was just, you know, like just getting high, playing ball, working out, regular shit, you know what I mean? But I was definitely there with Style. We wasn't on the same block. He was in we was both in the pen. Cause my holler got three um three side three buildings. You got the old jail, where that's like um, you know, the old jails, bars and shit like that, you know what I mean? Them cell blocks and shit. Then you got the new jail which is like a just a newer a newer building. It, you got cells, but you got the sliding doors and shit, you know what I mean? And then the pen is all dorms. I think there's like one block where um where they send niggas to the box in the pen and they got they got cells, but everything else is dorms. That's where Styles was at. Or but he definitely was uh he definitely had the keys to a lot of blocks because he was definitely walking around like he owned that motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. Cause I seen it with my own eyes.